Next, one of my favorite bags from Polen is the Polen. Okay, welcome back to handbag collection video part two. If you're new here, my name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. Honestly, you probably shouldn't be new here because if you are new, you should check out part one. Part two is not going to make any sense until you watch part one. So pause the video, watch part one, and then come back and watch part two. If you're here for part two, you already watched part one. You know that we are going in chronological order. We kind of left off around like early 2021. Um, and again, this is kind of when TikTok started picking up. And so I was getting gifted more bags. So I stopped around the halfway point for the first part, but this part feels like in 2021, early 2022, we actually got a lot more bags. Um, so at least it feels that way. So grab your snack, get comfortable, grab a drink. Let's get into it. So starting off with the italic tote. Um, this is the Ella tote, I believe. I got this gifted to me early 2021. I want to say February. Um, and I really, really was excited about this bag because this is supposed to be a good dupe for the YSL East West tote that I was going to get for work. Um, obviously I didn't get that bag yet because I had this one and I was really waiting for us to like return back to the office when things like return back to normal, whenever that's going to be to use this bag. So I really haven't used this bag, um, all that much, but the leather is so, so soft. The bag is around $180. I really think that this was worth it. Um, and I think this makes for a really good work bag. So if you're looking for the YSL tote, don't want to splurge on it. I think that this is a great alternative. Sticking with italic, I don't know if this really constitutes as a bag, but it was in the bag section and can be used as a bag. So we're going to say this is a bag. This is the like hard shell case kind of bag. Dior Ramoa did one. And so this was kind of like a dupe for that, but like not really. Also, um, it comes with a crossbody strap. I'm going to be honest. I haven't worn this as a crossbody bag. I envisioned it as like this crossbody, like bum bag action. We don't wear it like this, but what I do use this for, because it's this hard shell kind of case, um, I'll put any kind of valuables, chargers, things that I don't want to get crushed when I'm traveling. I'll put it in here so then I don't have to worry about it getting crushed. Even though this was probably not the intended purpose of this bag, I really like using it this way and it, I feel like it gets way more use. Next is one of my most favorite bags from Palen, which is a Palen Numero Dice. Um, I use this bag all the time. I take this with me to travel. This is one of my most used bags. I feel like it's trendy, but not overly trendy. Um, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody bag, as a bum bag. Um, so many different ways to wear this. I am obsessed. If you could only get one Polen bag, which like, why would you narrow yourself down to one? But if you only get one, this is the one to get. Um, if you're looking for a full review, I'll leave the Polen playlist up here for you guys. But overall, love, love, love this bag, would die for this bag. The last and final um, long shot bag that I've gotten, at least for myself, is this duffel here. This is the expandable duffel. I'm not going to expand it for you guys. I have all of my dust bags in here. So I keep everything like out on the shelves like this. As you can see, it's just a lot easier for like filming and stuff. So I keep all of the dust bags in here. So we're not going to unzip it. But like this is actually the same size as the black one, except this one expands. So I'm so glad that I have both because now I take both of them with me on vacation. Um, do I really need two overflow bags? Probably not, but um, this is the perfect bag to take for traveling because the black one really doesn't fit that much. Like I think I would use the black one more as like a, think like gym bag or weekender kind of capacity. Like it's enough for a pair of shoes, your clothes, maybe a towel, but this bag, because she expands, it probably expands another like eight inches upward. So she really fits a lot. Um, in terms of proportions when she's expanded, I think she looks a little bit silly, but she's here to get the job done and that's all we can ask. So this duffel is, I think a hundred dollars more than the regular duffel that I have, the black one, but this one also comes with a crossbody strap and I think it's a way more comfortable, it's way more practical. And I do feel like this nylon is thicker than the other one. Um, That's a feeling, don't quote me on that. But I think that if you have the extra hundred dollars to splurge and you only want one duffel, I think that getting the expandable duffel is probably better than getting Getting the one that's not expandable just because you always have the option to shrink it down like this but if you ever need to expand it you have that option okay so we are starting to have a little bit more fun now um we are getting into chanel this was my 
for Chanel purchase. If you haven't seen that video, um, we have like the unboxing and everything here for you guys. Um, check it out. Honestly, we probably should have gotten a classic flap three years ago, but I also like knowing me, like I didn't feel comfortable spending that amount of money three years ago. So we ended up getting the mini. Um, we had to go through a reseller because we couldn't get it in stores. This bag was like impossible to find because everyone wants the mini nobody wants to pay full price for the classic flap the mini is almost half the price obviously everybody's gonna want the mini i really like this bag and i really think that this is going to be a classic in my collection forever um i don't really see myself getting rid of it um the black gold hardware classic you can't go wrong so um overall really really like this if you are having trouble finding this bag in the mini you do want the mini I recommend like looking either pre-loved or going through a reseller even if there is a little bit of a markup in my opinion it's worth it because you're gonna be on an endless wait list with Chanel to try to get this in the boutique and it like for me I paid I think $4,500 for this and um at the time the bag was $4,000 so it really wasn't that big of a difference um going through a reseller versus buying it new and there was no timeline of when I would get it new so I'm so glad that I was able to get it when I did and I have no regrets so we are getting into August of 2021 and the Chanel bag was supposed to be my birthday bag but um I did a little bit of shopping in Hawaii um this was picked up for me actually by Cass so one of my close friends Cass lives in Hawaii in July of 2021 Gucci YSL um, and I think a few other brands under the Caring brand um, has changed their Hawaii pricing. What used to be 20 to 25% discount is now 10% now. So if you go walk into Gucci now in Hawaii, it's a 10% discount compared to the mainland price versus what used to be 20 to 25%. Um, if you're curious as to like how Hawaii pricing works, um, I'll leave it here for you guys to check out. But basically I got this in Hawaii, technically Cass got it in Hawaii and then I met up with her in Hawaii to get the bag. Um, but we were already planning a trip to Hawaii. I was already planning on getting this bag and I figured, hey, if they're gonna change the prices and I'm gonna save $300, then I might as well have her get it, hold on to it for me. And then when I get there in a few weeks and I can pick it up. So this is the new small they have the old small which is a little bit taller and kind of has like this accordion look to it and I sold my super mini to get this one um I really like the super mini it just didn't fit a lot so I decided to let go of the super mini and get the bigger one and I honestly have no regrets the super mini as cute as it was it just wasn't very practical and I surprisingly use this more than I thought I would so I think it's a win um it is really heavy so if you're thinking of getting this it's a very heavy bag. On the same trip in Hawaii, we picked up the Dior book tote. This was such an impulse purchase. Um, I have a whole review on it and like why I think this bag isn't worth it, but I love this. I can't stop staring at this. I feel like it's honestly like a work of art. Like this embroidery is gorgeous. The toit de jouis pattern is stunning. For a fabric bag, for what is now, I think almost $3,400. I think that's ridiculous. At the time, Dior was doing um, tax-free because they used to be attached to like this duty-free mall in Hawaii. And then they also had 10% discount. So this bag was only $2,800 out the door, which it would have been, I think, $3,100 plus tax. So I saved about 17%. Um, when I bought this bag in Hawaii. It's no longer that price, but um, I am really glad that I have this. And I honestly like, have no regrets. It's not the most practical bag. It doesn't have a zipper. It's kind of heavy. Um, but I do think that this is a work of art. And as TikTok started to, you know, take off and I was getting more followers and um, I also got a new job. And so I really had this bag to commemorate that new job. And then also any kind of additional income that I was making from TikTok. I use that as shopping money and I have no regrets because I think this bag is stunning. Overpriced, but stunning. Okay, August was honestly like a really good time for me because not only did I get two very, very nice bags myself, Kate Spade, Kate Spade herself, my first designer handbag, reached out to me and said, Hey, we would love to send you a bag. I had no idea what it was going to be. I had no, no idea what color, but I gave them my address and it showed up three days later. This is her. She is the Kate Spade small bag. This is one of their like trendier bags in the last year or so. I think, um, it's not as structured as like the first Kate Spade bag that you saw, but it's a pop of color, something I really don't 
have in my collection and I think just having something be as full circle as like my first bag was Kate Spade and then they have found me on social media and reached out to send me a bag I just felt like I kind of made it I don't know I know it sounds superficial but I mean look at her she is so cute um and it just like has a lot of good memories attached to it so look at this little Kate Spade uh, small bag action. And if you're wondering if Crescent bags are gonna be very trendy, I say yes. I think that they have been trendy. I think they will continue to be trendy. So if you haven't hopped on the Crescent bag shape trend, get on it. Also in August, I got two Palen bags as well. Um, I was doing a giveaway on TikTok. Um, Palen recently came out with another bag as well um, around August 2021 timeframe. So I got that bag as well. But um, this is the Noof. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't don't come for me if that's wrong. Um, but this is the original size and they have one now um, in a mini size and then a micro size. Um, I don't have the mini size, but I can show you the micro size. Come on, like, look at this. Is this not like the cutest thing ever? Like I'm obsessed. Overall, I really like this bag. I don't wear it as a crossbody. I've talked about why I don't wear it as a crossbody in the Palen video, um, but it just looks way too big on me to wear as a crossbody. It's just a big black hole to fit whatever you need. And um, I really like this bag. I use this more for like fall and winter. And so this past fall, I use this bag quite a bit. So in the same month um, in August, when I was doing the Palen giveaway, I'm sure you guys remember that, um, I, got this bag this is the berry it used to be called the 11 i want to say i want to guess that it's 11 in french but um it's now called the berry and i love this bag so much i use this a lot it's giving kind of bottega veneta jody okay like i'm not gonna lie she's giving a little bit of bottega um but i love it this clasp here is pretty easy to get in and out of it has an adjustable strap the strap is like i'm sure it's removable i've thought about this many times so it's this knot here i'm sure it's removable i just don't know that i want to undo the knot because i know that i would not be able to tie the knot as closely to like the end here as they did. So I have not risked it and I have not worn it just as a top handle. But the strap is adjustable. I love the neutral color. I think this is in chalk. Overall, I use this bag quite a bit. I really like this. It's perfect for spring, it's perfect for summer. It's kind of this off-white color. There's not an outfit that doesn't look good with this bag. And so I, I love it so much. So the next bag on the list is the Palen Umi. Um, I actually gave this bag to my mom. So here's a picture for reference. Um, if you're looking for a full review, I have it here in the playlist. Um, but I do really like this bag. I think she also really likes this bag. You can wear it as like a shorter shoulder bag as just like little shoulder bag moment, but then you can also wear it as like a longer shoulder bag or even a crossbody if you are on the shorter side. Um, so I really like this bag. It's kind of giving like the mature version i want to say of the palette numero dies and so um i know that she really likes the style they have so many colors um definitely recommend that one next is my first and only foray lapage um i don't know exactly what the style is called but um my first and only foray lapage when the agency that reached out to me said like hey our client foray lapage one of the oldest french brands would like to send you something i was shook i was like i'm sorry me me so um i hold this very close near and dear to my heart um it's an edgier style definitely not something that i would go out of my way to get um but i do really like the style i love how many different ways you can wear it. i love the chain strap um and a lot of chain strap bags they're not the most comfortable to wear over time because they don't have this like leather bit here so this bag is really comfortable to wear it's very unique if you're looking for a bag that not everyone has i think that this is the way to go it's around a thousand dollars um it's really not super expensive for what it is it's very well made and um overall i think that like like look isn't she stunning she's stunning so i think i, I was just so honored that like they reached out to me that they know who I am. And um, I think that this bag is just such a good memory of that. I may not know exactly how to wear. I've only worn this once with like a button down white shirt with like some leather pants, which like that outfit you can wear with anything. Um, so I haven't really figured 
exactly how to style this and if this is really my style but um I love that I had the opportunity to like get gifted a bag from them like that's crazy the next bag we have is the Prada Crystal re-edition again she is not showing up as beautifully on camera as she does in real life um I love this bag I told myself I like wanted this bag probably since May of 2021 and I held off until November of 2021 because I knew it was a trendy bag. I wasn't sure how the crystals would do like wear and tear. I don't know how I would style this. There was so many things that I like didn't know about this bag. Um, and when I met up with Sabrina in New York, she had this bag. I saw it in real life. Um, at the time they didn't have any in stores to like see in real life. So I was able to see this bag in real life and I just fell in love and I had to get it. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, just like this. She's, um, if you're looking for like a styling video, if you're looking for the full review, um, we have it here for you guys. So you already know. So we're going to keep it short. If we're being honest, I don't know how long this is going to stay in my collection. This is probably not a forever bag, but my thought process was I enjoy the bag for a year, two years. She's trendy for a year, two years. And then I can sell it. I may not make all of my money back, but I think I can make most of my money back with this bag, um, considering it's still pretty hard to find and people are paying well over like, over 2,900 for this bag in the bag. Um, when I got it was I think like 1650. So if you're looking to get this bag, I highly recommend it. I think it is gorgeous, stunning. Um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, we have finally made it into 2022 for bags. The next bag and the first bag of 2022 is the Senrev Cadence. So this was their newest style, and this might still be their newest style from Senrev. I really like this style because first of all, we love a neutral color bag. We love this with the gold hardware, love it. Um, this is also a very adjustable strap. Um, I don't wanna show you guys now because it took a long time to kind of like shrink the strap down to get it back like this, but it's a very adjustable strap. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody, um, just a very versatile bag. And you can actually swap out this strap here and put in a fabric strap. Um, so I really like this bag. This was sent to me as part of a collaboration that I did with them. Um, and I think that this is a very versatile bag. So you can kind of see it's pretty spacious. Um, she fits quite a bit of stuff. This bag is also pretty structured and it is a little bit on the heavier side. There's just a lot of hardware kind of up here and stuff. So I would be mindful of that, but otherwise I do really like this bag. Um, I know that there's some styles from Senrev, like the Maestra, Maestra, however you pronounce it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of that style. I know a lot of people have that style, probably not my taste. I think it's a good like functional bag, but more so function over looks with that one versus this one, I think it's actually like a really cute bag. Uh, you can wear this as a shoulder bag, you can dress this up, you can dress this down. Um, and overall, just a really, a really cute bag. So I really like to have this and um, there's still the tag on it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, I haven't taken it out because I ended up getting the next bag, which is very similar color. So it should be no surprise to you guys, literally same color, same like cream styled bag, uh, gold hardware even. Again, you can wear it as a shoulder bag and as a crossbody. This is the Louis Vuitton Easy Pouch on Strap. This should be no surprise to you guys. Um, this is a recent bag that I've unboxed and reviewed on TikTok and on YouTube. And she's small. She's small. Let's let's be real here. She doesn't fit a lot, but um, I'm very, very excited to use this for spring and summer. I recently styled this with like a white sweater and like a light blue tweed skirt. And um, she's just perfect for spring and summer. I get a lot of you guys asking if I did anything to protect the bag for like color transfer and stuff. I sprayed it with Carbon Pro, but I'm also not relying on the fact that I sprayed it with Carbon Pro. I'm mainly just like not gonna wear it with dark jeans or I'm not going to wear it with certain things because I know that there's a potential for color transfer. Just be smart about it. I'm not planning on babying this bag just like I don't really baby any of my bags but I do really like this. I love the versatility of this bag and I was a little bit nervous when I bought this because it started becoming really trendy and really popular but even if it's not trendy and popular anymore I think that this bag will stand the test of time. I mean it's such a low-key bag um, and there's so many different ways you can wear this like a crossbody bag is not going to go out of style. So really, really recommend anything for the price, like 1600 for a Louis Vuitton all leather bag. It doesn't get any better than that. Next is the Palen micro bags. I am obsessed. I say this all the time and I feel like I was hoping that the like 
infatuation of these bags would kind of go away and it hasn't and I don't know that it will um I love them so much they're so stupidly cute um they don't fit much let's be honest they don't fit much they don't fit a card holder they don't fit a key pouch you got to put individual cards in here but she fits the essentials she fits a card she fits um she fits your hand sanitizer and a lip gloss and your car keys like what else do you need um they're so stupidly cute um and i think for the price they're really not that expensive either um i've seen micro bags this size um you can get them at dior for almost three thousand dollars jacquemus has some for you know six hundred dollars and so for this being like 160 bucks I don't think it's really that expensive. I am obsessed with these. I use these all the time. This one's probably more used than this one. This one also has a removable strap, so I think it makes a little bit more versatile. Not that I would wear it as a like top handle like this, because that's kind of like that that's like not practical for me. But um I I just love that I have them and I think they're so cute. The next bag is my first bag from Parisa Wang. Um, I have only seen this designer on Instagram. Again, similar to how I found out about Palen, like really just saw them on Instagram. And I thought that this would make for such a cute like summer and spring bag. This is kind of in like vernis patent leather, I want to say. And um, she is so cute. I think just around the two, three hundred dollar price range. Overall, I really love this. It doesn't fit a lot because she's so structured. You can kind of see like the she doesn't fit a lot. But um, I do think that this is really cute. And if you're looking for a new brand to check out, um, definitely check out Parisa Wang. Another bag that I got from them is this like Kelly dupe. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, um, but it also comes with a crossbody strap. It looks very similar to the Amaz Kelly. It's a little bit like, I feel like the Kelly 25 is probably a little bit like taller. It's a little bit square, more square versus this is um, more rectangular. And if you are looking to get a Kelly or you're not offered one yet, or you want to just test out the style, I think this is a great option. Um, this is a very low key style and it's easy to get in and out of. You just have to push this button here. I don't know if you can see that. So you push this down and then it opens up. It's not like the Kelly where you kind of have to like undo this stuff here and then open it. It's, it's not that complicated. You just push that down. Um, she's pretty spacious. She does come with a strap and overall, I really like this. I think it's a really good value, very well-made bag around $300. Um, similar to the other one. I just think that they like just together, like they look so cute too. The next bag we have is from another gifted bag. This is from Native Dubai. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, I'm gonna be honest. And when I started looking into them, they have these really unique designed bags that it's not really common here in the US. And so um, I picked up this one. I don't exactly remember the style of it. So I'll leave it all linked in the description box below if you're interested in shopping. And I think that this is so unique. It's just something different that you don't see here. So you open her up, there's a enclosed area. She's kind of like the Fendi baguette in the sense that it comes with two straps. Um, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, like so shoulder bag kind of like this um I feel like the strap is a little bit too short to wear as a shoulder bag but I, I'm sure a lot of people just carry it as a top handle or wear it on the crook of their arm but then you can also wear it with this crossbody strap here um and just turn it into a crossbody I do have to say that this bag's a little bit heavy but I do think that this is a really cute style um it's very unique and it's definitely a conversation starter really really unique design so I thought that was the last one. Um, I apparently forgot a bag while she was sitting on the ground. Um, so we're going to add this in really quickly. This is the Palen Numero Set Mini. She is the mini size for the regular Palen Numero Set. Um, if you guys want to see a comparison, let me know in the comments um, in terms of like size and everything. It's a little bit of a size difference, but I feel like just the two colors, like they look so muted and they just like look so pretty together. This is actually something that I prefer to use more than the original size in the first Palen bag that I got because the chain strap isn't really like, it's a lot more comfortable to wear versus this. The strap just kind of like flops there so um i love using this as a crossbody. i love this color i don't have anything really like this and um again i mean the hardware stunning just a very gorgeous design so yeah overall love this bag um i think i got this around maybe end of last year i don't remember exact timing um but yeah 
Okay, so feature Celeste here. Um, I realized I forgot this bag, which is very important. Um, so this is the Chanel vanity. I think it's from 2018, 2019. It's like the small case vanity, box vanity, something like that. Um, I got it through Kimmy B bags and she was able to find this for me. Um, I basically told her, I was like, hey, I want a vanity. I think I want Chanel, either pink, light blue. Uh, yeah, and then she came, she found this one and I am obsessed. I feel like it's a little bit more practical than the regular like vanity that has like the top open. It fits a good amount and the strap like fits perfectly on me. So it, this is just like a stunning color. I'm obsessed and um, yeah, I think that's all the bags. Okay, so that sums it up for the handbag collection video. Um, see you in two years. We're definitely not doing this again anytime soon. Um, this is a very long video that I low key was like dreading to film because I knew how long this video would be, let alone I knew how long editing this video would be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll leave all of the items linked in the description box below. I also will be making a video on things that I sold because I'm sure if you've been following me for a while, you'll notice that there bags that I used to have that I don't have anymore um so I'll be making that video on like bags I sold why I sold them very soon so keep an eye out for that if you're not subscribed please subscribe hit that bell notification um and I will see you guys next time bye